Okay, and welcome back to Let's Play Outlast, episode 3. My dude right now is fucking panting like crazy. So even though I saved. It saved me over there. So I had to walk through the library again. Now, seeing as I knew what was coming, a little less scary. But, my dude hasn't yet stopped wigging out constantly. Also, last I remember, there was a dude that walked into that room. So, uh, not feeling too excited to go even close to that room. But we're gonna have to, so. Also, if you hear me eating, I apologize. But I don't really care that much, because I'm hungry. So we're left here with a couple of options. Go that way, which looks not fun. Go near that door, which also looks not fun. And that way is not an option. A205. Also, something happened down there. First, it reminded me of the pigs from... A machine for pigs as I hold my breath as I pass that doorway. Hmm. Little face. Shit! What the fuck? What are you? <laughs> oh no. And who are you? Who are you? Oh my gosh. I thought wearing my favorite sweatshirt would keep me at home. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I have a calling? Then why did you send that big fat guy that reminded me of the amnesia dudes after me? Okay. Proclaim the gospel. Also, so I think that guy actually wants me to succeed. Also, it said something about oh, just updating the objective. So, Look at this. I'm gonna fucking just show up, and then the first thing I want to do is escape. Looks like we got a lot of options, though. So it's uh, causing the light to flicker in that room. That door's open. It looks even scarier with the uh, night vision, actually. Security guards, totes dead. Seems like these guys have been dead for a little while at least because there's flies everywhere, but... I'm guessing these are the security doors that are just absolutely... Yeah, that, that looks really locked to me. I'm not a fan of how that guy just came up behind me. Man, talk about dark corners. This well, game's all about them. Let's, uh, let's check out this area first. Hmm. I thought I could maybe read what was on these computers. I was just asking for a password, huh? Hello, dead guy. I'm figuring maybe if I'm more friendly with the dead people, I won't be so afraid when I see 
you know, more of them. Or the guys that should be dead, maybe. Hello, dead sir. I'm going to call you Joffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, well, hello, sir. I don't remember my own name. Oh, you're Jeffrey. Oh, well, thank you. No, that wouldn't happen because he's dead. I love a little pool of blood there. What time is it? 9.05, 9.06, 9.07, something like that. So, I mean, I've been clicking. And, uh, I don't seem like I can interact with any of these computers. This one's different, though. Hmm. Did I just literally spl Oh my gosh, I made splashing sounds when I walked through that guy's blood. Shiny stuff. Hmm, let's take a gander what that was. I start feeling sick just looking at the plate. Wait. Oh, whoops, no. The blue dot means new. Or the green dot means new, I guess. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff. Actually, I think I wrote this earlier, but I never read it. Whatever. Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's long MO has been to profit off exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Yeah, you you don't say, bro. Documents. <coughs> Sorry about that. Project Wallrider patient. Oh, so we learned about William before. Let's learn about Chris. Walker? Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Hasn't safe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. It's biometry, blah, 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 blah. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have, restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with the Tutara lizards and their parietal eye. Parietal? Parietal? Whatever. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose, attending... Orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. Uh, the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding the progression of the ME in progress. His predominant fixation, amplified by theory, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. One of them was the guy that threw me down. Because that was a pretty big guy. Did I leave those footprints? Wow. Game, you don't cease to... As much as I don't like your brand of scary. This is impressive. That was exactly how I walked in. Wow. I'll have to close that door. Let's see what this computer is all about over here. Anything different?
Why are you breathing all heavy, dude? You're making me nervous. Oh my gosh. I hope this is a glitch because I see no reason for my dude to be, well, I mean, other than all the reasons for him to be acting this way. What's going on out there, huh? Why are you freaking off? Freaking off, eh? No, you're telling me to peek. You, you know something's out there, game. You just want me to walk right up to that door and go, Hello? How do you do? No, this is, this is too much. <laughs> oh, well, hello, good sir. I'm just going to stare creepily at you. Hmm, let's see this I got. No way past him. Hmm, well, something tells me and he's in a wheelchair because he cannot run. So maybe I can get past him? Or he's in a wheelchair because he wants to fuck me up. We're gonna get this door open just in case I need it though. Because if I'm running, I know which way I'm running. Hello, good sir. Is there any reason I want to be down there even? I don't see any doors. And that does say exit. Changed. There's gonna be a monster right behind me, isn't there? I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here. Uh oh. Hmm. Um. Excuse me. Uh, sir. Pardon me. Can't really climb on that. You, you, you okay? Just hanging out down there. So I'm gonna head the other way, mainly because I cannot identify a reason I want to be down there. Unless, is that a door? That is totally a doorway. Damn it! Now I have a reason I want to be down there. Fucking shit. Oh, this guy's way... Probably a friend of Jeffrey's. I'm a friend of Jeffrey's. We're good. Are we cool? Are we cool? Dude, you don't even... You don't, you don't got toes. I mean, you kind of got toes, but... Hmm, I wish I could pick something up. Not that it would do me much good. Hmm. Mind if I interview you, sir? I don't think he uh, really is interested. Let's just keep walking then. Hello?
Huh. Um, this is the guy that thought I was a pretty cool dude, but I was told to run away from everybody. Hello? Um... Really enjoying what's on the telly? Me too, me too. Crowd of broken men watching a dead child. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Yeah, no shit nobody's home. Ah, really just wanna walk <laughs> that way. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I did not see you there. Um, just going to crouch because I don't want to interrupt the telly. We had our totes make goats out of it. Whatever they did, they really fucked you up. Like, what's wrong with this guy's leg? Oh! Also, this singing business is a little weird. It's creeping me out. Okay. Huh. You, sir, do not have a head! You know, even if this door opened, I don't think I would go down there. I'm just gonna throw that one out. What the hell happened in this room? I also really, really don't understand why I can gently open things, but not gently close things. I like how I'm afraid of a headless dude. Wait a minute. That's totally a head. He's got an ear. Oh shit, he's... he's oh man, he's not a headless. He's very much head full. Oh, pardon me, sir. Oh, you've got a key card, son. I bet as soon as I grab it, something bad. Like, what's this guy all about? What's that? He's got, he's got a battery. the game all blurry? I don't know. Oh, I can't get to that guy's battery. <laughs> Man, this turns out to be the biggest puzzle of the game. Uh-oh. This guy... Somebody was either dragged away from me? Why would I do this? Ha ha! I stole your battery! Yeah, <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go see if we can get this, this key card now. <sighs> Be a man! Oh man, I could have swore he was gonna do something to me. <coughs> huh. I kind of regret closing that door. Seriously, where do I keep making all these blood prints from? 
Oh, I suppose there was a giant pool of it underneath that man. Okay, so we got the security card. That's good. Um, and I realized just now I haven't identified what the autosave is. Okay, he's still laying there. So, is is that the key card that is? Is this the, a a door that you can use the key card? I don't think so. No. Once again, kind of thankful it isn't. There wasn't another way out of this room, was there? I just didn't see. Only one panel is darker than the other, but I don't think that's an option that high up. Okay, I guess we'll backtrack and once I get to the foyer area, that must be like a save of some sort. So, I guess since you guys are already like broken, nobody gives a fuck about you. Is that is that the deal I'm getting here? Are you still, are you still okay, man? Uh, I mean, you're not okay. Look at you. But are we still cool? No, we're not cool. I don't know what to do. Ah! Oh god, I heard that guy. Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh, we weren't cool. Spoiler alert, we weren't cool. Oh, gosh. Uh. Okay. Whew. Here I am in the foyer area. I guess, I'm guessing this is not the security key. Look at my bloody footprints. Like I said, this game's attention to detail. Surprisingly good. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna call it save here. And uh, if I didn't get an autosave for a while, I guess I'll just play that part again at some point in my miserable life. But there we go. That's another episode of Outlast. I'm lasting better than I thought I would. So join me next time for... Sir Billington's Let's Play Outlast number four, where I hopefully will get over my fascination with the game's feet uh, engine. Peace out.